Hello, my name is Michael Sama and I'm part of the design team. I'm going to be going through the user experience of this new environment. We start off with the canvas. You'll notice the larger viewport area, which gives you more space to interact with your model. And if for some reason it's not sufficient, we included a full screen capability so that you can use the entire screen for your modeling and simulation work. A strong driver was to make our tools intelligent and contextual so that we can reduce the quantity of buttons and forms immensely. This allows us to reduce our tools and make their access discoverable and accessible when needed. We also provided a point and shoot execution option to help speed up productivity. Although reducing mouse travel is always one of the influences, we're more driven by true productivity gains that one achieves by accessing the tools at the location of interest, which is why we provide contextual at cursor options within the tool to not only relieve you from the backs and forths from forms, but to also stay focused on the goal at hand. We also provided the ability to edit the objects whenever needed from the location of interest. Also, one powerful productivity enhancer is the multi-level undo capability. Embedding some smartness and resourcefulness into our tools comes in many ways. A major element that we embraced was the ability to manipulate the model directly. By doing this, it allowed the creation of tools that each perform functions of several tools in one shot. For example, to perform this task, in the past one would have had to use all these tools to arrive to the same result. Many innovative ideas have been infused into the product to help you easily and quickly perform frequent tasks. For example, here the user presses X to cut through the solid in one hit, or R to hide a surface to access another. And in this particular case, the user presses the up arrow to traverse from selecting a face to selecting the body to the part and finally it's subassembly and assembly and back down again. There are many more innovations like this throughout the environment. Communication plays a huge part as well. We communicate to you as much as possible using a variety of methods, starting with the cursors which dynamically change based on the situation at hand. The options are also contextual to guide you to what you may want to do. Visual feedback is also provided throughout the UI. Graphical previews are there to inform you of what may happen to your model when you manipulate it in order to give you foresight so that you can make the correct decision. Snap symbols, for example, are there to confirm to you what you have snapped to before you commit. Previewing a mesh is another great use of graphical feedback. Extensions and guides are helpful on-the-fly tools which help you produce and edit without the need to create extra construction geometry. Finally, conveying warnings or limitations before or as they happen is a large part of the communication process. Telling you when you can and cannot do something will go a long way to help you get to a successful goal. All of these things are done to ensure that you can be not just up and running but more importantly working faster. Now, an important theme is to make things discoverable and learnable, and in addition to leveraging visual feedback as an indirect method to helping you learn the application, we also provide explicit ways to become quickly familiar with the environment. When you first enter the environment, you are greeted with an entire library of movies that you can watch to quickly get up to speed on the entire application. The first movie would be the intro and the rest are easily searchable and navigatable by the clear and relevant categories. A Google-esque search capability allows you to search for any keyword which provides you with documentation, movies, images, as well as tutorials. When you set off to discover the tools on your own, in addition to the basic naming, hovering over a palette category will launch the entire stack which immediately gets you familiar with what tools you have. Once you've become familiar, you can always reduce the palette size to a more compact mode. Advanced or extended tooltips display with enough information to help you understand the gist of the tool's intent. In a very short time, you've become familiar with the tool. However, if this is not sufficient, you can always learn more by launching documentation on the tool from within the tip. 
If a movie is what you're looking for, then accessing the entire library of movies for that tool is done in one simple click and it automatically puts you in the category of the tool. Also, obtaining the entire search results for the tool is achievable by launching it from this tooltip as well. Once you are in the tool, we also provide Add Cursor instructions, which give you a dynamic step-by-step -step guidance based on where you are and what you need to do next. In addition, you can also read the entire tool's workflow instruction to see how it works and what is coming ahead. In short, the goal of our user environment was to make you more productive faster, with the minimal amount of training. Hope you liked what you've seen. Thank you very much.